What's up dudes, my name is Nick, welcome back for another throwback music video reaction. This time we're taking a look at the song from Kara called Step, going all the way back to, if I'm remem remembering correctly from what was in the description of the video that I downloaded, uh, their third mini album, I'm pretty sure. So this, you know, very early sort of Kara, so that's going to be super awesome. Um, this one was kind of decided through a or votes on the community tab of my YouTube channel, so keep an eye out for those whenever you see them so you can vote and have, have a little bit of a say in what content gets uh, gets made. And of course, if you ever have, have a request for a future throwback music video reaction for a song or something like that that you want me to check out, leave it down in the comments. I will add it to, that, to the list that I pick from randomly every single time that I do these one of these. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna kind of do what I normally do in all my videos. We're not gonna be super super crazy, amazingly serious with this video, but you know we're still gonna do what I do. Listen to this song, give you guys my honest you know thoughts and opinions on this song. Potentially have a little interesting discussion about it. Um, and and do that, and then we'll, of course we'll get serious coming up tomorrow when we listen to some new music. So if that's something you guys are interested in hearing more of at any point during the video, please do consider clicking on the subscribe button down below. So that's uh, with all that being said, let's get this song started. Ooh, that's loud. Forgot to turn the volume down. Oh, that is an interesting, interesting pattern there. I might, I might have missed the, 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 like the time, the water, watermark for the, for the date. Like, like every single Korean music video has. So I don't remember what year exactly this came out, but I've never heard this song before, to be honest. Well, yeah, I haven't listened to a whole lot of Kara. This is definitely Yeah, these outfits are like something something else. Like, I'm not and I'm not saying that like that's like oh my god, these are horrible. Actually, they look really good. But you know, it's definitely not like not like something that you would wear outside in public normally. You know, like like K-pop, modern K-pop. You you'd wear those those outfits out in in public, more or less. I did. I like I have I said that that I dig this. I think I have. I'm, I'm enjoying this song. This is good. It's an interesting visual change. Though, makes sense for the whole, you know, going soft in the interlude. It makes sense. You know, if I if I had been into K-pop, I, I easily think that you know, uh, with with the new music that I heard, listened to from Kara, and the older stuff that I've listened to through Throwback Reactions, Kara just as easily could have been the the group to get me into K-pop. You know, they they easily could have been the, the the group that just like hooked me and and drew me in like Four Minute did. 
because they have a little bit of that same sort of quality. I think, you know, for a minute when they started out, they were potentially a little bit, you know, like darker, I guess you can say, in their in their con in their image and in that to a certain extent, not really because, you know, their their music wasn't exactly like they certainly debuted a little bit with a little bit more edge to themselves to themselves, but um you know, they, they kind of did both the same thing. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you know, Kara is like I, I absolutely can see why you know they were massively popular because of course if they can if they can appeal to to me, um, not saying that it's like really ridiculously hard to appeal to me with you know the the pop music that you're putting out because you know I'm, I'm not like a super crazy tough critic you know I, I don't think that I'm really that horrible but um, you know it it just is. I don't know. I don't know, man. There's just something. There's just something about this song in particular that I that I've really kind of enjoyed about it. Um, I don't know. It's it's kind of it's got like that kind of upbeat and you know fun th- vibe to it that mo a lot of the music from back in this time um, had. And you know, I actually do kind of you know I, I enjoy that. It's really nice to, to hear something that's not necessarily so um, serious. I guess, which is the way, because I think that a lot of K-pop music that gets released nowadays is much more, like, super serious. Like, we gotta take this super, super serious, and, you know, having fun, sometimes we have fun, sometimes, most of the time, we don't, because, you know, we're getting, we're taking this super serious, we're trying to, you know, make a name for ourselves, and grow, and do all that stuff, whereas, this is not a serious, I don't think it's a super serious song, they're having fun, they got crazy, wacky, colorful outfits that, you know, no one would, would use in the K-pop music video today, um, or they might not, and the, the, the song, just something that's, that's fun, is not, I don't think, like, the most technically composed thing on the planet either, you know, it, it's just, it just is, like, a, a little bit of a shift from, from being music that's, a little bit that's mostly, you know, sort of fun and kind of playful sort of music to stuff that is a little bit more serious on the, you know, as far as, you know, the, the way that it wants to present itself. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, obviously. There's there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And the shift that K-pop has gone through over the last uh, 10 years or so, since 2010, 2009, you know, with the whole K-pop 2.0 groups, um, it's been a really good sort of shift for K-pop because it's obviously really, really grown. But, you know, kind of as I as I kind of asked or, you know, was was wondering in, in my comments to the, the throwback reaction that I uploaded the other day where there was a Korean person who said, you know, that kind of had sort of, sh- you know, talked about the shift in, in K-pop. And I was like, you know, how, how they like the older stuff a little bit more to a certain extent, how it appeals to Western audience and modern day stuff appeals to Western audiences. And I kind of asked, like, you know, obviously it's a good thing because, you know, the fact that music now appeals to the Western audiences, obviously that's a really good thing because K-pop has grown tremendously. But, you know, from, from your perspective as someone who grew up listening to the older K-pop music, or for, you know, older fans, is it really that good of a thing? Like, have you, ha- have those people kind of lost the, the, the interest in K-pop that they had? Because now the music that is getting released isn't the music that they necessarily, you know, got into the genre of music for in the first place. You know, people do that with groups, like all the time. Groups, groups kind of take their own, take their own path. They go their own way. And that kind of deviates from what somebody, you know, liked them for and, you know, wish that they'd continue doing and then they lose fans because of it, or, you know, those fans, you know, drop away, and they're replaced by new fans who are attracted to the new sound, it just, it just is the way, you know, kind of a, a natural development, so I'm, I'm, I'm a little interested to, to kind of, you know, it, it would be interesting to know how many, like, older K-pop fans who are, like, pretend my age or older, who, you know, don't like the music, the, the K-pop music anymore, you know, for, for whatever that reason is, whether it's like, they just, it just doesn't kind of like resonate with them anymore because it doesn't appeal to them. You know, it's not necessarily targeted at them as much as it was in the past, or they've just grown up and they've matured and pop music really isn't a thing that they like anymore. You know, it's all kind of interesting sorts of questions that I, that I kind of have that I would like to potentially get some answers for, for people. Uh, probably not going to get them on this video to be honest, but you know, that is just the nature of, uh, the demographics on YouTube and who I'm reaching here. So 
that's all I got to say. You know, we just continue into to just listen to Kara songs that I've never heard before and enjoying the hell out of it. So that's um that's all I got to say for this uh for this for this throwback reaction. So of course, as I said at the beginning of this video, I want your requests for uh, future throwback reaction videos. I got a big list, but more is always helpful and useful. It keeps this entire series going. So if you got requests, put them down in the comments below. Also, just share your general thoughts and opinions on this uh, this song and kind of what I talked about down there as well. And then similar to how I kind of posted a vote on my YouTube channel to uh, decide the, the, which song this is, I will, I, I do do uh, a poll over on my Patreon page for people who support the channel on Patreon to decide what one of the throwback reaction videos are for the weekend. So if you want to get involved, support the channel, help you know me achieve amazing, great things, and continue to just grow this channel, then head over to Patreon, become a patron. You know you get access to a bunch of cool things and some exclusive content, and of course, you'll get to actually be involved in deciding topics of a couple of video series. So if that's something interesting to you, then cool. If not, that's also awesome. You're not required to do anything, so um, do all that stuff. So if you want to like hear more of these kinds of things, and of course, other stuff in the future, then please do consider clicking on the subscribe button down below. With all that being said, that's going to be it for this video. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time.